Okay, I'm gonna just do a quick video and uh, just working on more of them so you can see I've been working. It seems like out of these colors, this shade of color, uh, this is all I have for this shade of color so I'm gonna have to start playing, checking out the green ones. These are all ones that are too low in my opinion, I like pretty low. I want to uh, get a little kachunk guy. I can make one using a car battery. Uh, I should just do that. But I want to get these guys that are half half connected. Okay. So this is kind of an example where only only the top has anything on it. There's some weird ones. Um, I'd like to be able to do deal with these guys. Uh, I bought a shitty cheap GoPro camera, so I'll be using that in the future to film, and hopefully uh, video quality will go up. So I got all these two, and I'd like to, uh, you know, solder them, or whatever. Whatever it's called when you, uh, you know, do it. I don't know why I can't think of it. Uh, someone help me out in the comments. Please help me out. When you do this, when you don't solder, you do that. I need to make one of those using a car battery. So, I have this that came in the mail that I'd ordered. And it's just a really cheap BMS, uh, 7S, obviously. So this guy here, uh, I tested him out. The more batteries I put on this guy, the more that I can uh, use this guy uh, through obvious, um, you know, current drain and voltage drop. So yeah, right now I can definitely fully utilize, uh, except obviously you can't use housing wire on 29 volt system. That's really stupid. And this stuff here gets super warm and this guy and these guys get super warm. So I have, they're not these ones, but I have a really good heat sink that's the right size. And I'll use a sawzall and they'll cut it to the right shape and then I'll glue it down. I know there's like, it's like silicone, but it's for, um, you know, it's a heat, a heat transferring silicone. I could buy that stuff and then I get, so I put heat sinks on it, but anyway, so this is fine, but honestly it doesn't matter because I'm going to be, as soon as that 50 amp um, BMS comes in, I'm going to test it out and I'll probably just switch to it. Because this thing's fine for just playing around, but like, it's only 20 amps, you know, that's, it's not very much, it'll probably die just from this. Oh yeah, so this is an important thing. So there's going to be six to seven of these um, hooked up to like a 4,000 watt pure sine wave, right? So, you know, the, the maximum current draw divided by, let's say, six. And that's how much each one of these is going to go. So, like, this design will work but it needs like six of them. I'm basing this off of um, that one guy in South Africa, whatever his name is. Um, he was saying like 50 or 30 kilowatt hours. So my this one, mine is going to be 4.5 per wall, wall, whatever. But mine's going to be fully modular. So each wall is going to have one of these, one of these, one of these. And, um, oh yeah, I bought, okay, yeah, I, I bought some other stuff, so I'll have to do a video when it comes in. But, anyways, yeah. Kind of running out of time, you know, five minutes, that's, that's all I try to keep these at. So I'm going to do my next video on this guy, just uh, doing some measurements on him, trying to figure out, you know, is this thing a piece of junk? Um, you know, technically it is. I've been doing a lot of testing, but anyways, uh, let me know what you think, uh, put some comments down, let me know I'm not wasting my time, thanks, bye.